everybody welcome back to my channel today we have a really fun recipe we're gonna do the bananas foster french toast it's in the eat like a Gilmore cookbook and this is a recipe that Suki made at Luke's diner after the Independence Inn burned down if you're new to my channel welcome I like to go through cookbooks recipe by recipe and I'm doing the recipes for the first time with you on camera I'm not a professional chef, professional cook. I've just been cooking my entire life and I've been following recipes my entire life. And I like to let you know whether or not recipes are doable, delicious, all these good things. So, I've already made the French toast from a couple of recipes back because I did them in another video. I will put that somewhere up here and I'll, and you can go see how I made that. I did use butter croissants instead of bread, and I did that again today um, per directions of the Bananas Foster French Toast. If you have not seen that video with French Toast made with butter croissants, I encourage you to go look. And if you've already seen that video and you have not tried it with the butter croissants, I really encourage you to try that because it's delicious. But this adds a little element of fun to the French toast. It's a topping of caramels and bananas that we're gonna put on top of the French toast that I've already made. So, all that said and done, let's get to it. Okay, so here's my French toast here, ready to go. Just waiting on its topping. We're gonna start by melting two tablespoons of butter right here in this pan. Okay, that's melted. We're going to add four tablespoons of brown sugar. One tablespoon of maple syrup. And I'm using natural maple syrup, not um, not I'm not using the artificial syrup. I use the um, regular syrup or real maple syrup. And one and a half teaspoons of molasses. Dissolve it. Okay, here comes the interesting part. We're going to put a quarter of a cup of spiced rum. this on low now to it seems to be overcooking. Okay, here comes the interesting part. We need to burn the alcohol off the rum. I'm trying to burn it, but I think the pan already burned off the rum. I'm going to try it again. It's not lighting, so... I 
don't know. See, this is where I'm showing you that I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. It says carefully light on fire, but I am not able to do that because I think the wrong alcohol already burned off the rum. Well, what's supposed to happen is you light it on fire and then let it burn out itself. But what I think just happened is that the alcohol burned off in the pan. I don't know if it has anything to do with the syrup or not. But I'm going to consider that step done. And maybe you can get it to work. If you can get it to work, please let me know. Okay, now I need to add a quarter cup of half and half to try to thicken this up. Well, now it looks really nice and caramely. It smells really good too. And heat's on low. I'm gonna add some bananas and cook them about two or three minutes. These are two bananas sliced lengthwise and crosswise. Let them cook in there for a couple minutes. Okay, they are looking good. See the caramel bubbling up real nicely. Bananas are cooked down. It smells delicious. We are ready to put this on the French toast. Start with the bananas. I'm not going to do all of them. I think this is supposed to be made for more than just two pieces of French toast. And let's get some caramel on there. Oh my, that looks amazing. Let's top it off. What you think? How's that look? Let's try it. Okay, I'm really excited about this one. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get to do the whole flame finesse for you guys, but I think it still worked. If I taste the alcohol, I know that it did not work. Let me get a mouthful of banana, whipped cream, caramel, and butter croissant all together. Oh yes, this is good. Oh my, this is delicious. It's not too rich. I really thought with all the molasses and brown sugar and the syrup, it would be really sweet and really rich. But I think the bananas and the butter croissant and the whipped cream cut that really nice. And so you have a really nice balance there. It's really delicious. And I do not taste any alcohol, so I did end up burning off the alcohol, even though I didn't get to do it with a fancy flame. I hope you always take a chance to try this. The ingredients are really simple, and it makes a really fancy breakfast for you or a nice brunch for anybody. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe because I have more fun videos coming up for you, as always. And I will see you next time. Bye!